In a world reliant on mobile phones, communications such as the internet, and electronic monitoring systems, satellite technology is crucial to our modern way of life. Perhaps unsurprisingly, with ever more demand for services, more and more satellites have been popping up in orbit around the Earth. But this has led to a problem. There's now lots of junk in space. This space junk comes in all shapes and sizes, from the tiniest fleck of paint right through to dead satellites that no longer work. Even sections of old rockets are part of the Earth's space junk problem. Scientists have estimated that there's already an incredible 7,000 tonnes of junk in space, and it's increasing. The majority of useful satellites today are launched into low Earth orbit, which is anything up to around 2,000 kilometres above the Earth. Here, there is the greatest risk of collisions. Seen the film Gravity? Well, in reality, a huge pileup like that is unlikely. However, satellite collisions have occurred in space, such as the Iridium-33 collision in 2009. Scientists are now exploring the best ways to minimise and remove space junk in order to combat the problem. There are two methods. Ensure future satellites are able to get rid of themselves so they don't contribute to the population of junk, and to actively launch missions to rendezvous with and capture space junk. The Remove Debris mission will be the world's first mission to demonstrate capturing technologies that could deorbit space junk. The first experiment is net capture. A small CubeSat will be ejected, which acts as artificial junk. This will deploy an inflatable structure. The inflatable structure helps the CubeSat to deorbit quicker. Getting the net and the platform correctly aligned with the junk so the capture system doesn't miss is a big challenge. In a full mission, the net would have a tether line to pull the junk back down to Earth. The second experiment is harpoon capture. Here, a deployable target is used to demonstrate the use of a harpoon to capture space junk. The third experiment is a vision-based navigation and will also use an ejected CubeSat. Put simply, in order for satellites to rendezvous in space, camera and LiDAR technologies need improvement. LiDAR is a measurement technology that uses a laser to illuminate the CubeSat and read back information such as position and orientation. The final experiment is the drag sail. In order for satellites to dispose of themselves, future missions may have such drag sails attached. By deploying the drag sail using an inflatable boom, drag is applied to the satellite as it passes through the outer elements of the Earth's atmosphere. This added drag will return the satellite to Earth faster, where it will burn up in the atmosphere. Here we show the burn up of the main platform. The extreme temperatures during re-entry cause the platform to completely burn up. If we fail to clean up our space environment, more collisions are going to keep occurring, potentially making whole segments of space unusable, or damaging critical services that we use on a daily basis. The cleaning up of space junk is crucial to ensuring the sustainability of space for future generations to enjoy.